All right, what's up? Today, my car is finally getting some well-needed parts. Uh, it's getting a bucket seat, a shifter joint, and radio brackets. Um, we're gonna start with the, uh, the uh, radio brackets first because they're easy, and then we'll go from there. The shifter joint might have to wait a little bit because the lift's currently occupied by the Forester that we're taking the lift kit off of, but let's get started. All right, we're currently in the car now. Um, we're going to get started with the uh, radio bracket portion of the video. So I'll show you guys how to do it real quick. So okay, you have this trim piece. That's all that needs to come off. Um, pretty much you want to pull on the side right here, right here, and then down here a little bit. And then it will pop off. It's just four, about four, maybe six clips, and it pops off. Uh, don't mind this or that. Uh, I had to make something temporary to fit my double lid in there. So I'll remove that and then I'll check back in. All right, so all you need to take the video out is a Phillips screwdriver. Mine doesn't have anything holding it in currently. Um, so I'm going to pop it out. And then you'd have, it's supposed to have two. The other ones are in here somewhere. But you just unscrew each side. I couldn't find my other two bolts, so I'm gonna have to put in with just one on each side. So we're gonna open the right and left hand side. Uh, if any of you guys need this, the uh, Part number is 66201 FE000 for the right hand side and the left hand side is 62, oh, sorry, 66201 FE010. So, you might, I bought these from a Subaru wholesale parts website. Okay, and then you're just gonna want to slide everything back, back in. There's these four bokehs, four little Phillips screws that go on each side. Four bolts are in, or screws. There you can put, there's supposed to be two more inside farther, but honestly, I don't really think that's necessary, so I'm not gonna do it. You can see there is a little, I think it's a little too big of a gap. I want this to stay as flush as possible, so I'm gonna try to scoot it back one more and see how it, see how it fits. It is too far in. I went with the uh, the planted uh, seat bracket just because I had a lot of different options for mounting sliders or anything in the future if I wanted to. Um, currently, I do not have sliders for it yet. I plan to eventually, but it was just more of an expense I didn't want to pay for it yet. And it's not really necessary. Um, but there's the seat bracket. Knife me. <laughs> ah, damn, that hurt. So, right here we have, it should be the, oh, let's have the Sparco side brackets to mount to the planted floor bracket, and then we have 
some hardware. Mount these to the seats. Made with the, the QRT is like the way they make it. So I guess it's like a decent amount wider than like a comparable seat. Um, we're gonna get the side brackets on real quick and then and then we'll get the stock seat out, yeah, and then we'll put the floor bracket in and then we'll talk to you after that. All right, seats are ready to go in, uh, almost. Uh, we take out the stock seat, it's uh, four 14 millimeter bolts uh, on four corners. Uh, so we're gonna get that out really quick and then put the bracket in its place. After uh, you don't forget to unplug the airbag and other wires underneath the seat, then you can finally take it out. And you want to give it a little clean underneath the seat. You got know, like the little loose items and stuff that fell, and all the grime out. Okay, now we're gonna put the planted seed bracket in. Um, we're gonna use the same four bolts we used, took out from the stock seed and just use it in its place. Okay, seed bracket is in. Gonna kinda see it right here. Um, I'm going to try to set the buck seat on it and see how it fits. That's so low. Where will it be at, sir? So now I'm going to just uh, put, put these up. Bruh. I'm going to put two of these bolts in to lock my seating position in because it felt fine back and forth. They're just a little too low for me. I'm a short guy. All right, after a painful probably hour, trying to get the seat bolted onto the bracket, it is finally in. It looks great. I might have to raise it. I'm not too sure on the height still. All right, seat is in. Looks very good. Don't mind the dust. But, it's very good, very good. Um, got the brackets in, took, took a long time. Um, so now, I'm gonna clean up a little bit and then take her for a test drive. First test drive in the bucket seat. Oh, 
better. Holy crap. I was like barely even trying to do anything. I did not move at all. <laughs> so the sea the sea already feels ten times better. Like just doing the little like slalom things. Uh -huh. It was way better. Like I was not moving at all. My shoulders didn't move, my hips didn't move. Before if I would have done that I would have been like out of the door. <laughs> so I'm excited to see it. Hopefully do another track day in August and then Troy's gonna be coming with me hopefully so Got the seat in and the stereo brackets all mounted. I think today was pretty good. Um, the seat looked very good. Uh, I'm really happy with it. It was a bit spendy, but overall, I think it'll be worth it, especially on track because the stock seats um, they were terrible. I couldn't even hold myself in the seat at all. Um, even with like light turning, it would want to just I would want to fly out of the seat, but. I don't know. I I am really happy with it. I've been wanting a bucket seat for a while, just in general. But now, I don't know. Tracking the car just put it over the top for me. The bracket fit well, so that's good. Um, I also had a new addition. I didn't record it. Uh, I got some fog light covers because there's just big holes there, so it was kind of just interfering with everything and kind of threw off the car. That looks pretty good. Um, Troy and I want to give like a full overview of our cars soon yeah so we'll be doing an overview of my car and then his car also um, the Hondas don't need any love because they're stupid stock um, and then the 240 we'll also get an overview probably eventually soon he just put a steering wheel and some floor mats in it so I'll show him. Yeah. we'll peek at the 240's interior Got a little nardy wheel going on some new floor mats so we got some big ideas coming for this car. It's going to be a lot of work, but it'll be fun. Yeah. All right. It was a successful day of putting car parts on. Uh, I think we'll call it a day, and we'll see you next video.